Welcome to Formbytes, our LaserNet tutorial series. This video will cover the use of form criteria to trigger forms only when a specific document type is detected. Occasionally, we may only want certain files to trigger the output of a form. In this scenario, we want to ensure that only XML files relating to welcome letters generate a welcome letter form, and that irrelevant files are ignored. To do this, we need to create a form criterion. Firstly, open the Forms tab, and double click on the form you'd like to apply the criterion to. In this case, we just have one to choose from. Now that we have the form editor open, navigate to the Form Criterion button. With the button selected, click on the XML tag the criterion should be applied to. In this case, we'll be using Document Type. This brings up the Form Criterion window. XPath refers to the location of the XML tag the criterion will assess. Now you may not need to change the XPath, however do note if you change the XML structure you must ensure the path is still correct. If the path is invalid the criterion will not be triggered. The Operation tab and Match field dictates how the criterion will assess the content of the tag, and what exactly should the content of the tag be to trigger a form. In this case we want the document type to be equal to Welcome Letter, so here we don't need to do anything. However, you may want to change these if, for example, you want to create a criterion that excludes certain document types. Once you finish this step, click OK. Another window will appear, which contains all our criteria for our current form. Right now we just have one. Click OK and the document type should now be coloured grey. This means we've successfully applied a form criterion. Now we can exit out of the form editor and commit and then deploy this revision to our configuration.